Node.js allows JavaScript to compete with other server-side languages, such as Java, PHP, c -sharp, Python, and Ruby. There are many languages that can be used server-side, with PHP and Java dominating that role. There are several front-end languages, but JavaScript is the clear winner there. Then there are languages that can be used for both, including c -sharp, Ruby, and Python. The advantage of Node.js is that it allows the dominant front-end language to be used for back-end too. The most significant advantage of using Node.js is that it enables us to use JavaScript for both the front and back-end, creating greater understanding between the developers on a project and less language management. So you can have a team of exclusive front-ends and a team of back-end developers where they will work together comfortably. Or you can have a team of full-stack developers and utilize them as needed, creating less total overhead. If you already know JavaScript, which is a prerequisite for this course, the learning curve into Node.js is fairly simple. Much of what you'll see is pretty straightforward. And if you're familiar with other server-side languages, many of the steps you're already used to will easily transfer. Because of Node.js's ease of use, it lends itself well to scalability and maintenance. As the trend for microservice architecture over monolithic architecture continues to grow, creating a new service with Node.js is quick. And since Node.js is capable of handling hundreds of thousands of connections, it is possible to achieve application speeds similar to multi-threaded languages. Because it is easy to use, maintainable, and scalable, there are a lot of good use cases for Node, including e-commerce solutions, most social networking applications, blogging platforms, simple games, chat applications, and custom content management systems. Where Node.js doesn't shine is with applications requiring heavy processing and computation, such as video processing, 3D games, or live traffic for a mapping application. But just because there are tasks you shouldn't use Node.js for doesn't mean that you couldn't use a microservice structure and provide just that service using a more appropriate language. Think of video processing for a social media site where most everything else could be accommodated with Node.js.